A young girl named Ava, just 15 years old, was awakened by the sound of intruders breaking into her house at night with the intention of killing her father. He was known for his fighting skills and criminal activities. Ava thought about the fighting techniques her father had taught her and quickly confronted them, armed with a knife. In the living room, the intruders attacked her father, who was killed right in front of her, a day she had feared might come. With courage, Ava took up a gun. Using the lessons her father had taught her to defeat the intruders, 12 years later, Ava had just completed her rehabilitation and was on the verge of starting a new phase in her life. She was planning to marry Derek, but Derek's father, Robert, was worried that Ava might fall back into her old ways. Despite his father's worries, Derek chose to fully trust Ava and their future together. Immediately following their wedding in a stunning church ceremony, attended by relatives and friends, they embarked on their honeymoon to Spain, where they spent their time at Derek's family vacation home. They completely immersed themselves in their time as a couple, engaging in exciting adventures such as thunder truck rides, jet skiing, and seaplane tours. At the same time, they cherished romantic and affectionate moments together. One night, they had a meal at a delightful coastal restaurant, deeply engaged in a love-filled discussion while enjoying the stunning view of the ocean. Derek needed to use the restroom and asked Ava to remain seated. Ava, by herself, was captivated by the sea's peacefulness until a newcomer named Manny came over with a friendly grin, complimented her, and showed interest in getting to know her. Derek came back and introduced himself. Manny was keen to take them on a tour of the island's secret spots and promised an adventurous zipline experience the following day. However, before that, he insisted they check out a well-known club, and they make their way to the club. The vibe there is even more intense than Manny had made it out to be. Ava and Derek get completely immersed in the music. At that moment, a local troublemaker named Big Biz targets Ava. He sends a girl to dance with Derek, effectively pulling him away from Ava. Taking advantage of the situation, Biz tries to get close to Ava, making inappropriate advances and attempting to dance with her. Derek notices this, telling Biz to leave Ava alone multiple times. The tension quickly rises. Ava can't stand the situation any longer and shows off her real talents. As club owner, Sylvia watches from the surveillance cameras. Manny swiftly escorts Derek and Ava to the car and drives them away. Sylvia arrives at the club and tells Biz to cease his disruptive actions. On their way, Manny enthusiastically compliments Ava's combat abilities, noting he's never witnessed such skill. He also cautions that Biz is a threat and they could face consequences. Derek comforts Ava. The following morning, a loud knock resounds at Derek's door. Upon investigation, it's Manny who urgently informs them they must flee because Biz and his men are coming to harm them. Derek and Ava are left in a state of panic. Manny then chuckles softly. Then he guides them to a close zip line for an exciting escapade. Manny invites them for a test run, with Ava going first. Although she's initially nervous, she manages to overcome her fear. Next, Derek captures the whole experience as he zips across the line with enthusiasm. Manny then leads them to the island's longest zip line, a mile in length. Ava opts to skip it but Derek is eager to try. Manny goes first, followed by Derek, who records the moment. Everything goes smoothly until Derek's harness starts to weaken and rip. By the time he notices, it's too late. The harness breaks, leaving him hanging by his hands. Jojo and Ava watch in shock as the situation unfolds. Manny quickly tries to rescue Derek by holding him with his legs as they move forward. Despite Manny's efforts, Derek's hold slips and he falls. Manny is filled with fear while Ava rushes to find Derek. Jojo urgently requests an ambulance. Ava searches the dense forest for Derek, calling out his name. After a frantic search, she finally locates him. He's gravely injured and in a critical condition. In the next scene, Ava and Jojo are preparing to load Derek into the ambulance. Ava decides to chase them on her bike, but falls while dodging a car. A good stranger helps her and takes her to the hospital. At the front desk, Ava is taken aback when the nurse, Lita, tells her that no one by the name of Derek is admitted. Ava shows the hospital card, and Lita admits Derek isn't there. Ava is left feeling completely lost. The next day, Derek's parents and sister Sandy show up and head to the police station to report a missing person. Ava tells the officer about the situation, showing Manny's picture and mentioning Jojo, 
along with the hospital card. However, the investigator quickly realizes that Derek is not registered at any nearby hospital. Ava reveals that the paramedic refused to allow her to accompany Derek. The investigator theorizes that Derek could have been abducted, as wealthy Americans are frequently targeted for kidnapping in Spain. Shortly after their visit to the zip line, the owner admits he doesn't know Manny and denies any involvement. However, Jojo denies any connection to Ava and Derek. Ava, seething with anger, grabs Jojo by the collar and threatens him to confess the truth. The investigator steps in to soothe Ava's rising fury. The investigator presents the footage of the club brawl, asking for an explanation. Ava details the incident, mentioning a large corporation. The investigator accuses Ava of being under the influence of drugs, suggesting it's the reason for her aggressive behavior. Enraged, Ava leaves with the resolve to locate her husband by herself. Together, they wander the streets with Derek's picture, questioning individuals all night, yet they are unable to find any clues about him. Derek's father brings up the bar brawl incident again. Ava proposes that the police might be working with BIS. Robert remains convinced that she is responsible for Derek's disappearance to seize his assets. Ava reacts strangely to this claim, and then goes to her room in a state of anger. The following day, Robert and Sandy leave Ava behind on the island to look for Derek and return to America. Ava reaches the zip line and steps in for her turn, leaving the other individual behind. Ava departs with him. Ava warns him that she will drop him in the middle of the zip line. Shaken Jojo admits that Manny is the mastermind behind it all. Ava captures his admission as proof and rushes it to the inspector, urging him to find Manny to help locate Derek. The inspector commands his team to arrest Ava, but is quickly surrounded by multiple officers who are determined to apprehend her. In the end, they manage to secure her and will be sent to Puerto Rico for legal proceedings. Ava is being taken to a cruise by a police officer as thoughts start to form in her head about needing to use the restroom. He begrudgingly complies and follows her to the restroom for her safety. She manages to break free from the handcuffs and quickly jumps off the cruise. Afterward, she changes into different clothes at a restaurant. That night, in a meticulously planned ruse, she returns to the same club where Manny had taken her. Ava notices Manny having a good time with a bunch of girls, and soon enough, Manny goes to the bathroom. Ava follows him, locks the door, and then proceeds to overpower and capture him. She keeps asking him about Derek, with his face pressed against the toilet seat, but he always denies knowing anything about him. Ava shows him a drawing of the ambulance driver and inquires about them. Manny recognizes them as Omar and Tito. Ava asks Manny where they are, and he agrees to help her find them. In the next part of the story, Manny takes Ava to his house. Manny's mom thinks Ava is his girlfriend, but Manny quickly sets the record straight. He then leads Ava to her room, telling her to rest and letting her know they'll look for Derek in the morning. In the early hours, Manny and Ava start their search for Derek. They visit various places and question a lot of people, but they don't find any clues about him. Ava spots a poster on a nearby wall with the same tattoo as Omar's. They rush to the location, but Manny tells Ava to stay in the car. He then explores the place with Ava through a video call, trying to figure out Omar and Tito. Manny eventually catches Tito leaving the place and notifies Ava by email. Ava spots Tito outside and follows the car. Ava continues to follow Tito and sends him updates through text. Tito eventually stops at a place and goes into an old, rundown building. Ava follows him carefully when Tito sees her and tries to attack her with a baseball bat. Ava manages to overpower Tito, injuring him in the process. She then questions him in a room, but he won't share any details back. Ava then resorts to a drastic measure by cutting into his stomach to get the information she needs like that Omar was paid to take her husband to a certain spot. Ava sends a text to Omar from Tito's phone, tricking him into coming to the location. When Omar arrives, Ava attacks him, but he quickly defeats her in the fight. Ava is then forced to shoot him. In the next scene, Ava is in a jail cell, facing a tough interrogation from the inspector. Despite her claims that Derek is still alive and that Tito and an Omar had arranged for his transport in the ambulance, the inspector has ordered Ava to be moved to the main office for a thorough investigation into the deaths of Omar and Tito. At night, Ava is taken to a thick forest by two police officers. She realizes they plan to kill her instead of bringing her to the main office. Taking the opportunity, 
Ava secretly frees her hand from the handcuffs. Unnoticed by one of the officers, she quickly kills him with a precise strike. After the inspector gets a warning call from Ava, who threatens to harm his daughter if he doesn't come to her aid, he grabs a weapon from a secret spot and rushes to her room. Ava threatens to kill his daughter if he doesn't confess the truth. He admits that the mistake was the doctor's use of drugs during Derek's surgery, which led to his death. The investigator also clarifies the reasons for his past actions, which involved accidentally causing a girl to become pregnant. Upon learning the complete truth, Ava offers the investigator two bleak choices. Either he commits suicide by shooting himself, or he flees to the restroom and ends his life with a knife. He opts for the latter. Ava reaches Manny's residence. She tells him that Derek has passed away, and discloses the role played by both the physician and the investigator in his death. Manny comforts Ava and suggests she leave for America. She returns to the same hospital where Derek received treatment. She locates Lisa, the receptionist, and assaults her, rendering her unconscious. She then uses Lisa's car to force her way into the hospital. Within the hospital, she faces the physician mentioned by the investigator. After subjecting him to severe torture to uncover the truth, the physician confesses that he can assist her in retrieving her husband. The physician presents her with security camera evidence, which reveals intruders entering the hospital with Derek. Later, Sylvia emerges from the elevator with Derek and his associates. Ava decides to impersonate a nurse as part of the doctor's scheme. Silvio attempts to charm her and inspects her inappropriately. In the operating room, the medical team begins harvesting Derek's bone marrow cells for Silvio. Ava skillfully injects him with a sedative, making him unconscious. When he wakes up, he becomes enraged and confronts the doctor. Ava intervenes, pointing a gun at him and his men, making them hand over their weapons one by one. Ava is about to take Derek with her, but Silvio intervenes, explaining his dire situation of having a rare cancer as Ava tries to flee, she runs into one of Silvio's men in the hallway, leading to a tense shootout. However, Ava quickly defeats him. She then swiftly escapes into the elevator with Derek. Inside the elevator, Ava takes a deep breath. As Ava and Derek leave the hospital, Silvio and his men retaliate, opening fire. She fires the cylinders, setting off a huge explosion at the precise moment. Ava grabs Silvio by the gun and then speeds off with him in his vehicle. Ava reaches out to Manny to inform him she's on her way. Derek, still clutching a weapon, aims it at Silvio. In response to Silvio's taunts, Derek shoots him in the leg. Silvio falls from the car, but manages to crawl to his comrade's vehicle and starts chasing them. Meanwhile, Manny tasks his young companions with guiding Ava and Derek along the path. They easily navigate to Manny. Silvio and his men arrive, but some kids push a vehicle into their path, obstructing their escape route. Silvio and his group manage to evade the children's attack by hurling coconuts at them. He opens fire in the chaos. Thankfully, they dodge bullets and safely reach the other side of the river. Manny brings Ava and Derek to his home. Meanwhile, some of Silvio's informants give him Ava and Derek's location, prompting him and his men to move into Manny's neighborhood. They first break into Manny's house and demand to know where Derek and Ava are, despite their threats. Manny, however, refuses to disclose any information. Silvio exits the area. Silvio and his crew scour the surrounding houses, questioning the locals, but find no leads. Ava, meanwhile, confronts a man and swiftly kills him. Despite being gravely injured, Derek fearlessly apprehends another man. Witnessing his men's deaths, Silvio grabs a weapon and challenges Ava to a showdown. Ava retaliates, initiating a brutal fight. Initially, Silvio has the advantage. The police discover Derek and take him away, with everyone present, including Derek. Intervening to prevent Ava from harming Silvio, suddenly, Biz arrives, calmly defusing the situation and confiscating the weapon. He declares that kidnapping or intimidating tourists on the island is unacceptable and proceeds to blindfold the children and execute Silvio with a knife. He offers the police double the ransom money Silvio paid for Ava and Derek's freedom and orders them to bring Ava and Derek back to America. In the closing scene, Manny leads them to the beach. He gives each of them a hug, and Ava thanks him sincerely. As they board the boat, the movie ends with the resolution of their adventure.